Hello guys, so in the last video we have seen how we can deploy a fast API application on AWS EC2 machine and how we can expose it with the help of API gateway to make uh, its URL as an HTTPS. Okay, so that's the final URL uh, for from which we are kind of able to access the fast API application. Like I will try to show you quickly and execute it. It, it is kind of showing the messages. Okay, so this is how it is working. Then after now we will see how we can add authorization on this on those APIs. Okay, so for adding authorization, basically uh, we just go inside the attach routes and then after uh, if I like uh, show you, we have that option to create a new authorizer or select an existing authorizer. Okay, so here we have to add a new authorizer, but before that, obviously to add authentication, we need AWS Cognito user pool. Okay, so what I will do, I will quickly jump over to the Cognito console and I will create a new user pool here okay from scratch okay so uh, first I will be clicking on creating a new user pool then after it is kind of giving me option to enable this federated identity provider so basically let's say if you want to do enable login through Google Facebook or any uh, an, another third party auth service so in that case you can enable but enable it but let's not keep it uh, that I think uh, let's make it more simpler so I will going to select username here uh, let's keep this password policy as Cognito default only. Let's enable, sorry, disable this MFA for now. Uh, disable this self account re recovery as well. So I am making it like just, just as much as simpler as possible. But definitely as per your uh, scenario, definitely you can enable, disable or maybe you can select uh, user email in, in place of username or maybe mobile number, any other thing. Okay. So I will keep this self registration as open. So it would give me an option to sign up. Then after I will disable this as well and then after we'll click on next I will use the uh, like send email using Cognito as I am not in production application. I will name as fast API app pool. Uh, then after I will add, enable this Cognito hosted UI so that I can test this. Then after I will add fast API app. Then after I will name and public client. So my client would be the name I will call back URL as google.com so let's say uh, uh, once you are kind of done with the login where you would be get redirected it is known as the callback URL okay so that's at google.com but definitely if you have any uh, if you have any your own application you would be entering the URL of that application only okay but as of now I don't have any uh, uh, any any application hosted okay so I think all the configurations are done I will click on create user pool after that I will go inside inside it then after I will go inside the app integration inside the app integration we do have list of all the clients so what I will do I will just go inside this client uh, uh, configuration then after go inside this hosted UI and after that edit it uh, for editing it uh, what I will going to make changes like as of now auth 2.0 grant type is selected as an code grant okay so once I am done with the login it is going to provide me an code but I am not in, interested in code. I am, what I am interested in is token basically. Okay. So for that perspective, I have to select implicit grant. Okay. So it would be kind of providing me two tokens. The first one is ID and access token. Okay. So I will click on save changes. Then after I will going this on again on this hosted UI section and click on view view on hosted UI. Okay. So as of username and password, so I would be kind of uh, sign up sign up up. Okay. So I will use this and then after I will type password here and then after I will type it okay so now we have got an error the reason being is we are not using user email we are using username only okay so username is like AWS Cognito can't verify your username itself so for that perspective what I have to do I will just go here so in the production scenario what I will say to you, you always use either the mobile number to log in or either the email to log in okay but to make it process simpler like I would be getting an email on the on my email ID and then after I have to uh, sort of uh, verify that to make it more easier I have just used this username and uh, uh, so I am kind of confirming my account once this is done I will again go back to the hosted UI section inside the app integration so I will again open it I will close this here AWS dev again my password And then after, okay, my bad. I have selected, I think, some wrong. Yeah. 
so that's it after signing up i think i have done this uh, correct sign up so it is kind of redirecting me to the google.com along with the id token and access token as well so i will copy this and i will kind of paste it here okay so what i will do i will just segregate id and access token so here is my id token and after that i have an access token so whatever i want i can use it that's that's not an issue so as in second step uh, what i will do i will just copy it quickly and go on to jwt.io to uh, show you what is inside this token okay so i have just pasted my token here so inside this token we have an header and payload data so header basically contains some uh, the algorithms and uh, the key whichever is used in in this token to create and then after we have payload data so we do have an uh, uh, in issue time like issue time if you see it is kind of 547 which is right time uh, like right away time then after we have expiration time it is after one hour then after we have uh, uh, sort of token type and uh, expiration time and uh, i think that's, that's that's the only information we do have okay so if we select access token let's say okay let's say we select access token okay i will copy it and it is kind of here up to here uh, my bad not sure why it is not i'm not okay i will copy it and then after i will paste it okay so in this we do have some username as well let's say we wanted to access username so this is how we can verify this like this the username is mine only okay so this is how i think we have verified it now let's quickly move over to the api gateway and then after we will be going to create a new authorizer okay so i will click on new authorizer then after i will use this or uh, uh, name as cognito auth okay again identity source is basically it is telling from where it should pick the token from the api request so what i will do i will pass my token inside the authorization header only okay so that is fine then after i think issue url i will be copying it from here only so this is basically the issue url so i will go here issue url and then after in the audience i have to add this client id basically okay and then after i think create and attach so now it is done now let's say if i try to access any url okay execute it it would be giving me an as an option unauthorized right so to pass token in this api what we have to do we have to quickly jump over to here and i will hit it so it is giving me message as unauthorized okay so the reason being is as of now i am not passing any token so what i have to do i have to go inside the authorization section so most probably you either you are using no auth or inherit inherit auth from the uh, parents but here we have to use bra token okay after that bra token you have to copy this id token and just sorry copy it and then after you will be pasting it okay and if you try to access now sorry i think i have added some wrong character at the last yeah send it and now it now you can see apis are working fine nice right so now those apis are only accessible to those people who ha who has logged in in your application right and if the user has not logged in inside your application those would not be able to access uh this th those apis right so usually this login process would be done on the front end and front end itself stores the token on some either on the session storage or any any other browser storage basically and uh, in the back uh, in the background basically hit all the apis with that token only okay so this is not the user uh, kind of thing to to do this process and once the user has logged out from the application so they are going to delete this token basically right so this is how uh, we can make our apis more secure right so if i tried it it is, it is working again so this is how basically you can uh, uh, add uh, authentication uh, on top of your apis okay so if you if you do have any queries or any questions on this on this you can definitely post it on the comment section thank you